Hey guys, what's up? I'm Max and today I start a new series about topics for UX designers, for freelancers and so on. And the first topic of this series is the importance of wireframing. So you all know wireframing if you are in this designer topic and I'm sure you already done this before or not. So for both of you this video is made because like one year ago um, or two years ago maybe there was a time where I thought let's just jump straight into designing, let's just uh, skip the step of wireframing of creating concepts of our final design. I did that because I directly had these creative ideas and I wanted to bring these onto the screen, I want to build the ready product. But if you skip this step of wireframing, you run into several problems. So for example, one problem is that you just get a solution but you probably won't get the best solution. And our goal, our aim should be to get the best solution possible for our problems and for the designs that we will create. So with this wireframing step, which is one step before transferring our actual design uh, to a Photoshop or sketch design uh, or file, we try to bring different ideas on paper. And there were a lot of times um, where I found a great solution by uh, drawing wireframes on paper because I saw many problems before de designing the solution right in Sketch. So that was great because it was one step before designing. I didn't run into any time problems because I didn't already create a whole design or something. I just created this wireframe and I immediately saw the problem that was there. So there are a lot of ways to create wireframes. You can do it of course on your PC in a program or in a web app or something like that. You can also do this in Photoshop or Sketch. But I also like to just do it on paper. Because on paper you can write, you can add notes, it's really easy and it's fast and the wireframing process doesn't have to take that much time. It's just important to get um, an overview of ideas and to draw them down. So you don't need that much time for wireframing, just grab a pencil, grab a marker, maybe like one of these, grab one of your favorite textbooks that you have and you're ready to go. So I have a really special um, notebook or textbook or something like that from Baron Fig. They sent this to me, this little box, and in this box there is such a notebook. I want to show this to you right now. So we have this, so we have this nice packaging right here, like that. And I can um, just put this notebook out of the packaging because they create beautiful and simple products for your next wireframe. So they sent this to me and it's a great product to um, create wireframes with. And I st just started out uh, using this notebook it has a dotted grid, so they have different grids, for example, normal lined grids or, yeah, as I said, dotted grids. And for Monday's video, I created a little wireframe to get some of, some, uh, some of an impression before creating the actual design in Sketch. So if you watched this Monday's video, um, which was a Sketch tutorial, you will see that I made this one right here. And it has a dotted grid, I hope you can see it, and it just works out so fine. So I can definitely recommend you buying textbooks. The link to Baron Fig with their premium uh, textbooks is down in the description if you would like to see that. So I hope I could give you a nice little impression of uh, the importance of wireframing. We get ideas very quickly different ideas and not just one idea or one solution as I said and it's one step before the actual design part so you don't uh, lose that much time adding this step into your design process. 
but you find ideas, you find better solutions and not just the first solution that you come up with. And that's quite important if you want to have the best product out there, the best design out there and the best user experience. Because using wireframe techniques you will see different problems that pop up for your users and for you as a designer. So I hope you enjoyed this little first video um, of this freelance UX designer series. More videos about these topics will come out soon. This was just a first like uh, video um, and I hope you yeah, enjoyed it. Thank you for your time guys. Enjoy your week. See you.